Catholic Church in Israel blames Jewish state for current Palestinian violence. An article in the Jerusalem Post carried that headline on Thursday, reporting that the Catholic clergy spelled out their position in a statement of the Commission for Justice and Peace of the Assembly of Catholic Ordinaries, a panel of archbishops and other senior clerics of the various Catholic rites in Israel, the Palestinian Authority, Jordan and Cyprus. The statement asserted that the current situation for Palestinians was inhuman and said that the settlements, the siege of Gaza, the siege of the rest of Palestine, the military checkpoints, house demol de demolitions and the arbitrary behaviour of Israeli soldiers humiliating the Palestinians have led to the last five months of Palestinian terror attacks against Israeli civilians and security personnel. The Catholic statement is as prejudiced and as perverted as it is possible to get. It reflects the hatred in the policy of the Vatican towards Israel and particularly towards the Jewish settlements in Judea and Samaria, the so-called West Bank. I have spent the last few days visiting this area and talking with several of the settlers themselves, settlers who recognize that their presence upon the mountains of Israel is a fulfillment of what is written in the prophets. As I visited several of these settlements and outposts on Thursday of this week, a terror attack was carried out in one of the supermarkets, an unprovoked attack of violence against the Jewish settlers by young Palestinians. The headline in the Jerusalem Post today, Friday, read, Teenage Terrorists Murder Young Father in Benjamin Supermarket. It is this sort of terrorism that is now being encouraged by the Catholic leaders, and one cannot help referencing the perpetual hatred spoken of in Ezekiel 35 verse 5. It does not seem to occur to the Palestinian Arabs or to the Catholic clergy that there would be no need for security checkpoints or other measures if there were no violence, killings or terror attacks. The fact is that the Vatican, the Palestinians and the world just do not want an Israeli state to exist because it is because it demonstrates clearly that the Bible is true. Who can ignore the teachings of scriptures? Who can resist the power of prophecy fulfilling? For example, Ezekiel chapter 34 verses 13 and 14. And I will bring them out from the people and gather them from the countries and will bring them to their own land and feed them upon the mountains of Israel by the rivers and by all the inhabited places of the country. I will feed them in a good pasture and upon the high mountains of Israel shall their fold be. There shall they lie in a good fold and in a fat pasture shall they feed upon the mountains of Israel. The world tries to tell us that the Bible is a myth, that it is untrue, a fable, and yet its words are coming true day by day. What, though all the world resist him, God will realize his plan. And these, these that hate the Bible, those that hate the Bible and hate the things of Zion, will not be able to divert God from his purpose. The Jewish people will continue to survive and they, as they have always survived in spite of the Romans, in spite of the Catholic Crusaders, in spite of the Inquisition, in spite of the Nazi Holocaust, in spite of the Vatican-inspired Palestinian terror campaign. Am Yisrael Chaya, the people of Israel live. This has been Paul Billington in Jerusalem, Israel. We plan to give you more on Israel in our next Bible magazine, April 2016. All plans are subject, of course, to God's will. Mm -hmm.